Hello everyone. In the previous video, I have explained how we can use static keyword with variables. That is, what is static variable? How they get stored internally and what's the purpose of it? All I have explained in previous video. In this video, I am going to explain how we can use static keyword with methods. That is, what is static method? Why Java people introduce static method in Java? What is need of it? Why and when we should use static method in Java? What's the purpose of it? All I will cover in this video as well as at the end, I will explain some rules that we should remember about static method. So just keep watching till end, you will get clear view about static method. Okay, so let's get started. So let's begin it directly through an example. So here I will explain in what scenarios we can use static method in program. And then I will explain what are the rules that we should remember about static method. Okay. So let's understand the first scenario where we can use static method in program. So just concentrate here. Now suppose as per the client requirement, there is need to create a simple program that will perform addition of two numbers. So for that, you will need to create a class because nothing we can do without class in Java. So let's go ahead and create it and suppose class test and let's have one method here and it's suppose add numbers okay and let's pass here two integer type parameters and it's suppose int a and int b and simply written here a plus b okay all right so the job of this method is to perform addition of two numbers. Now let's call this method to get the output and to call it first we will need to create test class object and using that object we can call it right. So let's create test class object inside main method. Test t equals to new test. Now call it using test class object that is t dot add numbers. And pass here integer type values because this method take two integer type parameters. And therefore, here also we will need to pass integer type argument or values that will match to these parameters. And let's have values suppose 10 and 20. Now let's run the code. Let's see. You can see here we have got output 30 as we expect. So output is well and good. No issue in it. But we all know that Java is an object oriented programming language that is in Java everything is related to an object right and each object has its own properties that is each object has its own instance variables and we use that variables with methods in a program to perform certain tasks and hence there is need to create an object in Java right. But in this case if we look closely I didn't create any instance variables and all. Because I don't need of it, even this method is also not using any instance variable of test class. So basically, to perform this mathematical operation, I am not using any test class objects properties and all. I have just create test class object only to call this single utility method. And utility method means a method that perform mathematical operation known as utility method. So basically, I have create test class object here just to call this single utility method. And in other hand, if we think internally to get execute this single utility method, first test class object will create, then JVM allocate memory for it on heap area. And then this method get execute and will get an output, right? So all these things happen internally to get execute this single utility method. And due to this, somewhere it can affect on performance of a program because it can increase program execution time, right? And to resolve this problem, Java people might have introduced static method in Java. So here Java says that, why are you creating test class object and all to access this single utility method? Even if it is not using any property of test class object, so basically, it doesn't make any sense to create test class object only to call this single utility method. So instead of doing all this stuff, just declare this method as static. Simple. Because to call static method, we don't need to create any object. We can simply call it using class name. 
बिकॉज स्टैटिक मेथड्स आर बिलोंग टू अ क्लास नॉट बिलोंग टू एनी पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट एंड हेंस वी कैन कॉल स्टैटिक मेथड्स यूजिंग क्लास नेम देर इज नो नीड टू क्रिएट एनी ऑब्जेक्ट एंड ऑल टू कॉल इट एंड जे वी एम ऑल्सो ओंट अलोकेट मेमोरी फॉर इट ऑन हिप एरिया बिकॉज स्टैटिक मेथड्स गेट स्टोर इन अ क्लास एरिया नोन एज मेटास्पेस दैट्स वाई जे वी एम ओंट अलोकेट मेमोरी फॉर स्टैटिक मेथड्स ऑन हिप एरिया एंड ड्यू टू दिस लेस मेमोरी विल यूज एंड हेंस इट इज सेट दैट स्टैटिक मेथड्स आर यूज टू मेक प्रोग्राम मेमोरी इफिशियंट सेम एज दैट ऑफ स्टैटिक वेरिएबल्स दैट ऑलरेडी आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन स्टैटिक वेरिएबल ट्यूटोरियल so just declare this method as static now this method is a static method so static method is a method which is declared with static keyword okay and we can call static method using class name we don't need to create an object to call it so let's go ahead and call it using class name we don't need to create object of test class to call it so let me comment out this line we do not need of it and let's call this method using class name so class name is test okay all right and now let's run the code and let's see what will be the output you can see here we have got expected output without any compilation error so always keep in mind if you have to create utility method in a program then make that method static so that you can call it using class name without creating an object it will definitely improve the performance of program so basically we can use static methods to provide utility methods and this is one of the advantage of static method clear so in this way we can use static method in program to create utility method so that program become more efficient clear now let's understand another scenario where we can use static method in a program so for that i will need to create another class so just go to the file new and class and provide class name here and it suppose car okay all right so here i have created class car and every car has doors right so let's create a method and it suppose print number of doors and pass here integer type parameter and it suppose int a All right, and print here doors a, as well as every car also has its own chassis number, right? So let's create one more method, and it suppose print car chassis number. and pass here string type parameter and it suppose ch and print here chassis number okay all right now let's call these methods so that we will get an output and to call these methods we will need to create car class object and using that object we can call it right so let's go ahead and create it inside main method so car car1 equals to new car and now call the methods using car class object car1 dot print number of doors and pass here integer type value so every car has four doors right so pass your value four Let's call another method print car chassis number and provide here chassis number and it suppose 3 fg 567 and let's create one more car class object okay and it suppose car 2 and same call both the methods for car 2 okay so it's print number of doors and pass your value that will match to these parameters because this method take integer type parameter that's why here also we will need to pass integer type parameter so number of doors obviously four because most of the cars have four doors so pass here value four similarly call another method 
print car chassis number and provide here chassis number for car 2 so here chassis number will be different because every car has unique chassis number so so here chassis number will be different and it's suppose 5 6 hk 7 8 9 okay all right now let's run the code let's see see here we have got expected output now see here both the cars have different chassis number and it should be different because every car has unique chassis number it cannot be same but if you notice here both the cars have same number of doors and it's four now imagine as per the requirement there is need to create hundreds of car with four doors and unique chassis number so for that you will need to create hundreds of car object and using that object you will need to call these methods hundreds of times right so basically here if we look closely this method print chassis number will be different for all objects because every car has different chassis number but this method print number of doors will be same or common for all hundreds of objects because it giving same result for all objects right and if we think internally if i will create hundreds of car objects and will call this method hundreds of time for every object then internally jvm will allocate memory for every object and its method hundreds of time on heap area so it will consume more memory right and it may affect on performance of a program right so here java says that why are you calling this common method hundreds of time for every objects if this method is common for all the objects then you can simply declare this method as static so that all objects can share it commonly no need to call it for every object and once you declare this method as static then this method will become static method and jvm also won't allocate memory for this static method on heap area because static methods get stored in metaspace same as static variables and due to this lot of memory will save and hence it is said that static method used for memory management and this is the main purpose of static method so let's go ahead and declare this method as static so just write here static keyword before this method signature now this method is static method and static method are class level method that is static method are belong to a class not belong to any object and hence we do not need to call it using object we can simply call it using class name so let's call it using class name so let's access this method using class name and class name is car right similarly access this method also using class name and it's car okay all right now let's run the code let's see you can see here we have got expected output without any compilation error so here this method print chassis number is uncommon for all the objects because it print different output for every object that is this method is object specific method and hence we cannot make this method common for all objects and that's why we called it on every object right but this method print number of doors is common for all the objects because it print same output for all the objects and that's why we made this method as static method so that all the objects can share it commonly we do not need to call it for every object and due to this a lot of memory also will save so if we think as a real life point of view in your family your surname commonly get shared among all your family members right similarly static methods commonly get shared among all the objects clear so always keep in mind in programming if there is a method which is common for all the objects then simply declare that method as static it will save memory as well as it will help to make program memory efficient clear so always keep in mind if you want to create utility method in a program then you can simply go with static method it will definitely increase the performance of a program that already i have explained in first scenario and in another scenario i have explained if you want to create method which is common for all the objects then in that case simply declare that method as static 
so that all the objects can share it commonly no need to call it for every object it will save a lot of memory and will help to make program memory efficient now let's focus on some important rules to remember about static methods the first rule is static method can be accessed using class name there is no need to create an object to access it and second rule is static methods can only access static members that means static method cannot access instance members such as instance variables and instance methods okay so let's check it out so let's create here instance variable inside test class and it's suppose int p and access it inside static method so just print here p and now let's run the code let's see is it valid or not you can see here compiler is an error cannot make static reference to the non-static fields p so it's proved that we cannot use instance members that is non-static member inside static method compiler will raise an error and if i declare this variable as static and now let's run the code again let's see you can see here code compiles fine without any compilation error so it's proved that static methods can only access static members okay similarly static method cannot access a non-static method that is instance method so always keep in mind static methods can only access static members okay clear now let's come to the third rule and it's we cannot use super and this keyword inside static method so let's check it out just remove this static keyword from here now this variable is instance variable right and now access this variable using this keyword inside static method so just write here this dot p okay now let's run the code let's see you can see here compiler is an error cannot use this in static context similarly we cannot use super keyword inside static method so these are the rules that we should remember about static method that's it so this is all about static method in next video i will explain how we can use static keyword with blocks okay now I am going to end this session. So keep learning, keep growing and thank you so much for watching.